what's going on everyone the fish room is looking a mess today super disaster but anyways we are here because we are going to be adding more fish to this tank because there's only two and it looks empty so we're going to be going to petco and getting some cichlids I've got some lava rock right here that I've got rinsing off. I'll probably rinse it off about two more times before I leave to the um, pet store. And I'll be switching on to this uh, pop voice mic that I got on Amazon for like 10 bucks because it would be definitely a lot more discreet than walking through the store with uh, this. Yeah, so this is just awkward. Much better. All right guys, so we're here at Petco bought my nephew with me and my son y'all ain't gonna say hi uh, hi <laughs> all right guys let's this is my first ever video on youtube so i'm scared <laughs> it's all right man you'll get used to it all right guys so i think i'm gonna get this for the background on the tank while i'm here all right guys so here's the selection of cichlids we got right here we got um peacocks and they also have the mabuna in here. I'm gonna go with mabuna because that's what I have in the tank but I want one of these fire mouths so bad. I guess I'm just gonna have to wait till I get another tank for one of those guys. Alright guys so I got the background on the tank and it is uneven as hell and um, wasn't even as long as the tank but we're just gonna work with it. Um, for right now, these guys are pretty much ready to get into the tank, but before I even let them in the tank, I'm going to go ahead and take this lava rock right out here and kind of stack it up and just have it ready for these guys. It just kind of throws everything off and it's like a new environment for everybody and nobody has claimed territory and isn't fighting. So let's get to it. So unlike the mini tanks that have been used with sand for cichlids, I'm using gravel and as you can see here, there is not a really much of a big difference. There's still pits and stuff all throughout the tank. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get this rock into this tank and start making some formations. So because these fish are known to shift the substrate around, I decided to go ahead and take my lava rock and dig it firmly into my gravel substrate while also utilizing the rear glass of the aquarium just to give the structure a little bit more firmness. So when they get to digging, everything just doesn't crush down and turn into complete rubble. yellow labs, one red zebra cichlid, and one Johani cichlid, also known as the blue gray cichlid. Sounds by J -Man. Marcel is on the track. So I've definitely got a lot more in store for this tank as far as filtration goes, stocking options, and adding more lava rock to give more hiding spaces for the cichlids. I've definitely got a lot in store for this tank, but anyways guys, that's it for today's video. If you like my content, feel free to subscribe. This is Deep Fish Keeper as always. Thanks for watching.